Hello. Cancer, don't mind the change of the board. Management called and said that they have to add um, additional things to the office, so my other board is uh just doing whatever. What the fuck have I been telling you guys about the goddamn edition? I just started this video, and already he's popped up for you guys. What are you doing here, sir? What answers do you wish to give us today? Like, you know, you guys are always messing with some sort of magician, and I don't like it. Like, he always is fucking with you guys and shit. Anyway, Cancer, for all those who are new here, <laughs> who are not used to me scolding y'all, <laughs> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts, please. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Won't work if you don't believe in it, or maybe it will. We'll never know. Well, you can always let me know. There are comment sections and such. Not a big deal, really. Also, if you want a personal reading after this, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all down below. First reading's on the house, but everything after that comes with the price, of course. And I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Cancer! Let us begin. We got the Prince of Cups. You might be want to be offering your cup up to somebody, reverencing their cup in it as well. Also, Scorpio and Pisces in this. This could be you, Cancer. Right? Oh yeah, this is for September. This current year. My bad. <laughs> but your situation is you are at a crossroads, or somebody is, whoever this spirit is. A want and wish. Are you guys fibbing about something again? Because you guys seem to do that a lot. Or someone's doing that with you. Because that's a want and wish. Or there's something that you're wanting to know. Yeah, that feels a little bit more better. Okay, thank you. Um, they told me that um, it's something you're wanting to know. Because you don't have an idea. And because of that, the obstacle and challenge is a leap of faith. It feels like you can't take it. If you do, the sword will come down on you. So you're just kind of standing still. Not knowing and not sure what to do. Then we have the Queen of Wands right here. The Fear of Rejections. Sagittarius, usually for me, with the court cards. Also Leo or Aries. She is in total bitch mode. I want what I want, and I want it now. She's even got friends with her to beat your ass if you don't give it to her. Like, where, where's my money, bitch? You know? Just one of those things, right? Where it's just like, this is somebody who's, like, really pissed off. They have a lot of passion. And a lot of energy to go with that passion. They're like the Energizer Bunny. They, you just never know when they're going to do something, I feel like. Because she's very impulsive with this energy. What started this shit, how we'll end it, what will make this stuff come full circle. Page of Cups. Opening up your emotions. Um, being ready to love again. Interesting, Cancer. It's also you as well. It's like being childlike or naive. Or stupid, or pretending to be stupid, whatever it is, you guys are good at that. Like, you guys really are. You know how to, like, play the dumb card when you need to. You just don't realize, like, it, like what was that movie? Uh, Rocket Doodle Doo. I think I told you guys this before. This bitch didn't know that she was nice until, like, she tried, and it's the same with you guys. Like, you guys know how to be nice, but you don't know that you're smart until you try to be smart. It's like you, it's like you guys can use your brain, but, it, like, no one... Okay, this, well, using your brain... Who is this? Who is this? Who's sn snooping? Who's uh, who's at? Who is acting like a smear campaigner right now? Just going out with ill intentions to get information. Princess of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? This could be you, Cancer, but I don't think so. No, you're being expressive in all this. You're trying to show emotion. This is somebody you're dealing with who's snooping on you. Also, cross watcher switch where necessary. Please don't come here saying that I'm reading for the wrong person or I'm getting something wrong. Because I don't know that until you tell me. Which means it wasn't until you told me. <laughs> Which isn't a big deal, but it's like I don't want you to waste your time. Or mine. Let's see. Like, it would be rude of me to allow you to do that after all. So let's see. This Prince of Cups, he does want to take a leap of faith, but it's like he, he he's terrified to. 
And there's a crossroads right here, but someone still doesn't have enough information in order to open up, I feel like. Someone really wants to know something, right? So what's with this Prince of Cups? What is he offering or revering this cup for? He went inside and figured some shit out. This hermit right here might be dealing with a Virgo. Might have had to go inside and realize, I love you. Damn it. Janet, I love you. You know? We have the hanged man down here in this situation. What are they at a crossroads with? Disharmony. Like, someone poured, like, some acid in, like, a chemical, and now all of it's just breaking down in the dust because, like, that's the chemical reaction. Like, there's no chemistry. There's no harmony. It could be, like, a family situation where someone's losing their identity in the family or whatever. They might also be broke. Nine of Coins also, to me, speaks of, like, having money. You know, like, trophy wife and shit. You know, um... There might be a part. There might have been a partnership right here, and everything seemed to click just fine. But there is also this Queen of Swords right here, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, also over here. Uh, you know, some insight or hmm, something didn't work, or some sort of knowledge that somebody already with already had did not come to be useful. Like, look at all of these books. Look at all the money they've invested in this shit. Look at them trying to resurrect it with the butterfly. It's like they tried to use whatever they know to cause something to happen or bring something forth, but none of this knowledge helped them at all. And it's left them in this place where they uh, are barely getting out of this uh, dark sensation. Like black cloud. There are a lot of swords around, and I feel like they gotta get their wings nicked a little bit as they flow through. Or flew through. My bad. Ace of Swords, reverse. And the wants and wishes. Some Yeah, somebody didn't know something. Or someone is unaware of some information or some truth here. With a page of wands, secret, enigma. This person just doesn't let you know. It might be somebody who will impulsively leave. Or, or someone's waiting for somebody to come in with some um, information, some good news. Could be Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. It also could be this Queen of Wands. Maybe that's how she was when she was younger. But I don't know. It doesn't feel like the same. Maybe. I don't know. The uh, Sacred Clown. Ooh, two cards popped up for him. I'll take those. Uh, someone doesn't know they should take a leap of faith or exert themselves um, when it comes to doing the right thing and offering their love up. That's the obstacle and challenge. You're too scared to. Uh, not only would this be like a brand new beginning in love, it'd almost be like the right thing to do. It'd bring balance and equality. And this would bring rapture and ecstasy. Someone doesn't know somebody loves them. Oh, Cancer! That's kind of sweet. Oh, you guys. But I feel like you guys just don't know what to do. That's sad. Or someone doesn't know how to do that with you. Whoever the spirit may be. Queen of Wands right here. Sagittarian energy, also Leo or Aries. She wants what she wants. She wants it now. She's in total bitch mode. Her shoes are curled, damn it. The spice must flow, you know. Uh, you're afraid that this bitch is going to cause a lot of problems, <laughs> Cancer. That's a fear. Either she has that fear or you have that fear. Like, a lot of turmoil, a lot of disorder with her. A lot of conflict and she is a queen so it's like mm, she's over a princess that's for sure like how this will all start and how it will end someone's going to express themselves openly with their emotions feeling with no problems but not communicating um Amperian what the fuck is that word 
Empyrean or Empyrean and Celestial. Probably like reaching out in the ether or some shit, but they're not doing that. It's like, uh, it's, I guess this card is almost like intuition as well because of all the stars and the planets and shit. It's kind of like a. Ah, it's kind of like a. I guess not connecting. Or maybe just not getting it on some sort of... Um, hold on. I'm looking up that word, because I'm not sure what the fuck that means. Yes, it matches my thumbprint, damn it. Bastard. Okay. Okay. Uh, and go away, Karen. Love you, but I'm looking up a word. Empyrean. What does that word mean? Relating to the heavens or sky. Heaven, in particular, the highest part of heaven. So, it's like... It's like they're... This per, it's, it's almost like a... This one's weird, Cancer, because it's almost like saying... Um, not trying to be religious, because, you know, I'm really not. I'm more, you know, I'm a fucking witch, so just take that in regard, right? But it's almost like you want to be touched by be able to feel things, but it's not through God, or not through the Rixum, at least, or not feeling it on the more highest level. Like, almost like you don't have really high hopes with this person, right? It's just like, I'm a, I want to try... But I feel like I'm with, but I don't feel like God's with me in this. I think God's telling me to stay away from the devil, almost. It feels like a little bit with you guys. If not you, just with this queer, and it's like you're terrified of this queen of wands. <laughs> Which I don't know why that's funny, but it's like, I, I feel like she's not as bad as, I think she's just impatient and mean. I don't think she's hostile, because she's just standing there. She's got people around, so those are witnesses, you know. And just because she's got friends, don't mean that her friends won't turn on her. Let's see. Ace of Coin. Hmm. Interesting cancer. There's some money, but someone is, like, doing some digging. Like, why? That's what the fuck I want to know. I'm kind of confused with this cancer. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this craziness? Well, ask and you shall receive. Um, yeah, someone's at a crossroads, and they definitely need to decide some shit right here, cancer. When it comes to this, this harmony between people and this, um, uh, what is it? Prince of Cups and looking inside of what is and is not love, you know? When it comes to the Justice and the Ace of Cups with the love, coming to this lack of faith in it and not understanding what's going on possibly with this page of wands right here because they seem like they're a mystery, there is an answer to be had and it is a revelation. But it's got someone, like, sitting there waiting with a lot of worry. This King of Swords right here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like, the King of Swords, he's not looking like a dick. He looks like, you know, like a, a father who's more concerned than he is worried about punishment. Like, his kid's been gone longer than what they normally have when they snuck out of the house, and now he doesn't know where they are. And it's probably been days, and now he's just sitting there like, I don't even want to be mad at him. I just want to tell her I love him. I'm not even disappointed anymore. That's kind of sad, man. Like, I'm sorry, Cancer, if you're feeling this way or if you're in this situation. But I don't understand this Ace of Coins if that's the regard. Like, ew, three at the end. Someone went away while their cups were still filled, even though they did have joys of the past, and they still wish they had that opportunity, man. But what is with this Ace of Cups? Like, 
money, but someone's still snooping and shit. Like, someone's getting a brand new wealth and someone's, like, on the lookout for that. Like, someone's spying on you or some shit while you're... Like, they found out that you're about to get somewhere and now they want to know what the fuck you're doing. Because to me, it seems like it's, it, it's not as much about money with this person or this querent as much as it is about, um... Uh, them can being concerned with you or you being concerned with them it's vice versa but it's like really sad then again it might be spying on you because you got fucking money so i don't know but that's pretty much the end of your reading man so thanks for watching my video if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe i'd appreciate it no pressure of course it's up to you I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.